is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. I figured it was time. I have completed the upgrades on this system to revisit my off-grid or now grid-tied and off-grid solar system. This setup, 1.2 kilowatts, has worked pretty darn good for the year overall. Some equipment failures, but those were due to my uh, cheapness, we'll call it. And I've already gone over that in a previous video, so if you want to go back in time and take a look at that, it'll explain itself. But let's take a look. The sun is kind of out. We've got some clouds rolling in here. Let's take a look inside and see exactly how this thing is working, how the new setup is, and how everything ties together. All right, here we are, and you can see some of the old and some of the new. Let's go through it again for those of you who haven't watched the earlier series. That right back there is a lithium-ion battery. It's currently just about fully charged, 26.7. I usually charge it to 27. I'm not trying to overtax this thing. It's just want it to last a good long time. Um, this right here is my solar charge controller, and you can see it is collecting tons of voltage, 30 volts, 29.9. And... Uh, but you'll also notice right here, there's not a lot, since this has been reset, there's not a lot of uh, amperage or a lot of kilowatt hours being poured into that battery. The reason is, I'm using hardly anything. I've got the Ames Power Pack here, the 3000 watt inverter, but I'm, I'm just running some security cameras and small stuff over here with it. I'm not powering any of my house with it right now. In fact, that's the reason, even though these are both powered up, that, uh, that nothing is coming into it. It shows no wattage, so you think, oh, it's broken, but it's not. All the power is going into the grid tie, and that's that right there. You can see right now, partial sun, 710 watts going into the house. So it is back feeding into everything, the water heater, the air conditioning, clocks, microwaves, VCRs, TV sets, anything that has a parasitic draw, currently this is helping to offset the cost of that. And so this is kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, this is gonna give us both the ability to run when a power goes out for extended periods of time and it gives us our cost saving our money back when uh, when things are things are going well so as you can see things are going well right now so we're just using that this also this battery monitor, monitor i went into it a little bit before but that's also just showing how many amp hours go in and out of the system the percentage of charge i have not calibrated that yet i don't even know if you can see it with the reflection there you go I haven't calibrated it yet so it's just reading zero percent state of charge but this afternoon after I'm done filming this, I am going to set that up and then that's pretty much it for the one year uh, follow up, you know, just maintenance on this thing. The, the racking you can see here from the backside has held up extremely well. And the little dog house that I built here, perfectly dry, does occasionally get a snake or some spiders or whatever come in here. But honestly, I think the electricity kind of runs them off. I don't think they like it. And there's a lot of electricity you can see here a lot going on the shunt in the very back the on off plus both switch there's a 50 amp fuse hidden back there if i can get in there there you go and that giant Ames power supply which is working very well and then of course the battery and then this uh this grid tie system so we're gonna go ahead and i'll back out here one last time so the question I get is, uh, and I've gotten this a lot over the last uh, year, you know, people who find my videos on this solar setup that I made last year as the months go on, and hopefully that'll continue because this is all about the learning experience, both for me and hopefully for you finding this video someday in the future. Would I do it again? Would I do it differently? Uh, first question, would I do it again? Yes, definitely. It has already cut my power costs down by having everything on this side of the house run off of solar on uh, and now with this grid tie i expect it'll help pay for itself a lot quicker than it already was so we were saving about 20 to 30 percent of our energy costs but there was some waste because there were times when we weren't using a ton of power on this side of the house or in the house in general but maybe the uh, heaters were on for the chickens down there you know maybe the water heater was running and this wasn't fed into the water heater at the time so having the grid tie set up i think is really going to make a big difference as far as that goes now would i do things differently part two? Oh yeah yeah i would have done things a lot differently these are 100 watt panels as you can see i made 12 of them 1.2 kilowatts is 1.2 kilowatts the system setting all this up was a lot more sophisticated than it really needed to be if I had gone down to Georgia, I could have gone to a place that sells surplus panels where each panel is 275 watts. 
if I had done that, the cost would have been about the same and I could have made the system that I really wanted up front. I wanted to have a 3.2 kilowatt or 3.6 kilowatt system. And so obviously it would have been a much bigger array, but I would have been able to afford to build it all at the same time. The way that this is now, not really a problem. I mean, it is working great and I still plan on doubling it and then doubling it again, but I probably would have gone with bigger panels right out of the gate. The thing is, you know, you just don't know if a system is going to work well for you or if this is going to be something that's going to pay for itself. So I was real hesitant to go all in on solar. Now, from what I've learned and the, and the stuff that I've bought and had to deal with as far as repair wise, I know a little bit more about how to do solar. And I definitely would recommend if somebody was going to get into this, they probably oversized the solar array up front and then upgraded the other material as time went. I guess that'll do it for today, my friends. This is the end of the one year review and upgrades to my 1.2 kilowatt solar system, my, my off-grid solar setup, which I love. <laughs> I'll see you next time, my friends. Take care.